Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and once again it's another outside of town video. Today I'm going to go to Ross and see if they have something good over there, like it might be some DVDs or Blu-rays, because I just received a gift card from my father um, during my birthday, and I'm going to go see if they have something good over there, so I'm going to be on my way right now. Monsters University. Yeah. Now that's what I'm really looking forward to see because I love Monsters Inc. And by the way, have you noticed Mike has braces? <laughs> I can't believe it. I didn't know he had braces. There's a wing stop right there. As you can see it. Yeah, it's a brand new one. As far as I remembered, this used to be a Pizza Pete's, and I used to go there a lot when I was a kid. I always loved to go to that pizza place. And then since then it became a 50's uh, Billard's and restaurant, and then later it became a market, which has all these, it has one of the best breads they ever made. And then later it became this place, Leslie's Pool Supplies, and as we speak, Wingstop. So, look at all this cactus. Yeah. I remember there used to be a fountain right here too, in that area. But I guess they had to replace it somehow. They really did. And this tool shack right there used to be a Foster Freeze. Long time ago. Like back in the back in their time. As you can tell it still looks, it still has the uh, foster freeze. Which I know now we have foster freeze at Oko Loco. So, <laughs> talk about irony right there. Now I remember there was a house that was green which was later remodeled into a brown house. And I used to live in this area too. We had, uh, we actually had cable there, charter communications that were, that is, although it was Marcus Cable and Samons, but uh, we used to live there. It was a small house, we had two bedrooms and a big living room along with the kitchen, and guess what happened? all tore down. It simply became a parking lot. Mostly for this office. The, uh, the medical clinic. But this used to be a glass, an eyeglass cent an eyeglasses center that they had. With all these plants around. And it was right next to that restaurant right there along with uh, Talon's Beauty Salon. Yeah. Fain sure have changed over the years. Sure has. And this right here, the Maskell Graphics Incorporated, used to be a Smart and Final. As you could tell, this building did have a Smart and Final look to it. It really did. So things have changed over the years. Yeah, look at that broken glass. <sighs> Not a pretty sight. Drumsticks. Oh yes. I'm so hungry for that right now. And here's a bowling alley. Right in the corner. Known as simply City Bowl and Grill. Yeah, that's what it says right here. Yeah. It's a big bowling alley right there. Now that's been remodeled you know, a long time ago. But uh, I used to go there. We used to 
to hang around playing bowling over there. In fact, I used to go out with my dad, you know, who, uh, along with my brother Jason and Eileen and me and yours truly, of course, we used to go hang around and just, you know, knock out some pins. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. I used to go there even when I was in elementary school when we set up a field trip and we started knocking out, knocking down pins. We made a strike. Yeah, it was fun. We had to wear bowling shoes, of course, so in case we'd be safe. Plus, you get to have some food over there, too. They got a lot of good stuff. So, yeah. I'm glad it's still around, so you get to hang out and do whatever you want. Yeah. Of course, you have to sign up for it, though. But that's okay. It's always fun. Look at that sign right there. For look. It's Mira. And it has that Armenian language sign here. There's another one right there too. Look at that classic Hotel Glendale building right there. See? You see all these, uh, yeah. Yeah, that still remains even as of today. But I remember on top, I, when I read on the uh, magazine, or I just read a book, Originally on top, it did say Hotel Glendale. So, yeah, it's been around for centuries. And it's still a hotel even as of today. This is, of course, the Glendale Civic Center. And you can see the interior, what it really looks like, especially with the fountain. I remember the fountain has changed because it used to be a lot different back then. And as far as I remembered, I believe they filmed the movies The Cell here. I think. Yeah, they probably did. There's of course Trader Joe's and Men's Warehouse, which used to be a CNR. There's that Chipotle Mexican Grill restaurant. But sad to say, I lost my ring over there. It was my silver pearl ring that my uncle gave me. But I think I'll be able to find it someday at the store. But it's, yeah, it's a shame though. But it is a good restaurant though. It used to be the China Inn restaurant where they had all these Chinese food. Now, here's the most depressing thing that would ever happen in Glendale history. The J. Ecker Anderson Furniture. Yeah, right there. It's already been gone. Yeah, it's empty already. It's a great furniture place. So we're now here at Ross, dressed for less, in at the Glendale Fashion Center. So I'm going to be on my way right now. Unbeatable. Look at all these classic cars and trucks. Wow, look. Man. Even that motorcycle here. It's hardware. Oh, look at this police motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have to be made of steel and wood, as I could tell. But mostly it's steel. So, pretty clever. Yeah, there's all these headphones and other stuff here. I found this for $8.99. Even though it is 
the package is already open already. It's like broken all the way in. Well, I was thinking about getting some headphones, so maybe I'll, I'll see what I can do. So I got out of Ross, and I couldn't find anything good over there, um, such as the DVDs, Blu-rays, and all that stuff that they have inside. And plus, it was overcrowded over there. So the only thing I got were just headphones, such as the Ronin uh, pack that they have right here. Only $15.99. At Ross. I figured this would be a better replacement for my old headphones that I last bought at Ross back in 2010 and I've been using them ever since so I figured this would be a better replacement. So I think I'm just gonna save the gift card for something else. So if I ever go to the one in Burbank or even um, any other location that has all these rare videos of some sort I'll try to see if I can get them. But right now, I'm going to try to see if maybe I can go to either Barnes & Noble or Target. But I think I'm going to check to see if maybe Barnes & Noble might have some. If not, I'll just go to Target. Because so. I don't have enough money um, to spare right now. Because I'm going to wait until my check comes. So, let's see what we can do. Okay, I know it's not Barnes & Noble or Target. But I figured maybe I can go to Ralph's and see if... Maybe they might have some Blu-rays and DVDs available. So, we'll see what happens. So I got out of Ralph's and there wasn't anything good out there. Just basically random DVDs and Blu-rays, but it's nothing special, so... So I'm going to Barnes & Noble at the Americana. and see if maybe they have something good over there. Just gotta try to get away from anything. Too many people going around. Yeah. Mm. This flower. Yeah. On the way to Barnes and Noble. And here we are. Choices of blue rays that they have. Any choices that they have here? You can actually get. What are your arc lights? <laughs> oh yeah, that's the theater I've been to in Hollywood. So I just got out of Barnes & Noble. They had a buy two get one free sale, but I only bought three DVDs, so I guess it was a good deal on it. So what I got recently is um, the movie Virtuosity with uh, Denzel Washington and Russell Crowe in their pre-American Gangster roles. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good film. Underrated and, and very hard to find, but luckily it's, it's very rare. And also I got uh, the movie Blind Date with Bruce Willis, Kim Basinger, Kim Basinger John Larroquette, William Daniels, and, and Phil Hartman. It's a very good movie. You know, I really enjoy this. It's directed by Blake Edwards. And of course, I had a VHS copy of this movie when it was recorded off of KTLA, part of, which was part of the TriStar Showcase uh, syndicated package. And of course, my father taped it, but I, I had a copy of it. So I figured you know, I'd be able to capture something. And finally, I got the movie Flashback with but Keith Sullivan and Dennis Hopper. A very underrated film, sort of like a time-traveling action-adventure. It's also a comedy as well. So it works pretty well. It goes straight from the, the 60s through the 90s. So. Or somehow 80s, if you ask me. I mean, this came out in 1990. 
So anyway, that's that's all I got today at Barnes and Noble. I'm gonna head out home. I'm gonna relax. You know, maybe I might watch some movies or something, or do whatever. So anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.